Hello and welcome to UID's channel guys. Myself Gautam Kumar welcomes you all. If you are new to this channel then please do subscribe this channel. Let's check out the finished product. So I have three sections in the menu and three boxes here. If you click on second it highlights the second box. If you click on second three, section three it highlights the section three. So these are the internal links in our page. So sometimes it happens you have a single page website and you have a couple of internal links. If you click on uh, one link, internal link, then page scrolls to that particular location. Yeah, that is okay. But sometimes it happens you, you will not able to you know spot that whether you have reached to the right location or not. Yeah, it's a, but you can decorate that so that it will be easy for, <clears throat> for us to understand that we are at the right spot. Okay. Let's check the HTML part. What we have, we have these three internal links that you see section one, section two, section three here. And these are the sections where I have added the ID. Okay. This hash uh, targets the target, <clears throat> the internal links. So this ID hash targets to ID section one, section two, section three. So this is quite normal. You already know about this one. So not to, uh, go deep in this one yeah if you want to know how I have designed these boxes then please watch my flax video I have explained everything deeply so let's back, get back to topic I wrote uh, CSS in SCSS which uh, actually uh, by life size compiler it automatically generates the CSS behind the scene uh, if you want that I should create a video on SCSS then please please comment uh, Put a comment over there. I will definitely make video on SCSS as well. Else, I will create a series for that. So, yeah. Now, what the main thing that I have to put? I have to put one selector here. That is target. Target. Target is the selector. If you change the background from here, background color. Let's put something else. I am just putting this. Uh, let's keep this one. Yes, and save it. See, it automatically highlighted because we are on the uh, section 3 in target mode. If you see last hash, section 3. If you click in section 2, section 1. So by this way, it is very easy. A one line of code, right? One line of code solves you, solve this problem. Okay, you are not bound to only the uh, targeted area. You can specifically, uh, you know, give some css to its internal element such as if i give the css to h2 then see what happens it highlights the area so put things this is a dev something or you can say a class or ids this is this is what you generally do for css right you target that parent and you write the uh, css for its children so this is where you can um, you can target to the internal child as well. If you put the it in C, uh, P tag, it highlights that P tag. Yeah, you can put outline, anything you want. Okay, this is what I was trying to uh, uh, explain here. So, please, if you if you like this video, then please like and subscribe and please hit the bell icon so you will get the upcoming videos as soon as I upload on YouTube. Thank you.